and seen from a young age. I left home at the age of 13, living in many children's homes. I then ran away and found myself on the streets from the age of 14. I spent the next 13 years no fixed abode, living street homeless, squatting and living in a travelling community. It died to my heart still to see people on the streets in Brighton, still on the streets from when I was there, only 11 years ago. I've experienced firsthand, verbally and physically, the abuse of society. I used to sell the big issue and I still cry thinking back to one of many events that happened of myself being heavily pregnant, standing at Bond Street selling the big issue. Only to be spat upon by an angry man saying that I was travellous scum and I should have my baby taken off me. He then proceeded to physically attack me. Luckily a member of the public intervened and I escaped with just a bloody now. Situations like this are a harsh reality in common. Social attitudes towards the homeless are not getting better. There are many misguided ideas about the homeless or those in emergency or temporary accommodation. Some beliefs are that they are, have no one to blame but themselves, turning to drink and drugs, and they are not interested in helping themselves out of a bad situation. The real reality is that many of these vulnerable people have undiagnosed mental health issues, drug and alcohol misuse issues caused by past traumas and relationship breakdowns, which has led them to be homeless on the streets alone, not knowing where they can go for help. They all have their own stories to tell, and some of them are heartbreaking. Today we'll be hearing from some of them about their lives as a homeless person. I urge you all to look past the situation they are in and see them as a person. I know homeless people like Andy, who has a job, but he still lives in a tent because he can't afford to pay rent, pay the bills and eat. The system is out of control and the reality is that the government is not living in the real world and refusal to change rate caps is a recipe for disaster. There needs to be more affordable housing, more social housing and more help to buy. There are so many empty properties across the UK that we use to provide government and community schemes for the homeless to make them habitable, then life skills and trades which to work themselves out of the situation and provide them with somewhere to live. Along with Hello. Along with its stony beaches and gigantic seagulls, Brighton has another defining factor. It is home to the one of the biggest homeless populations along the South Coast. The numbers of homeless applications, decisions and acceptances continues to be higher that recorded regionally and nationally. None of us here are claiming that we have all the answers or overnight solutions to end homelessness, and no we would love to. We are working very hard together trying to make it better, looking all the time to find peaceful, positive solutions to a complex topic of homelessness. I believe that that solution is only going to come from the people in such events like this, where we are engaged with intelligent people in an open dialogue. This has to be something that the people do together. Social change has to come from inside the community, and that's what today's event is about. <coughs> Breaking down the barriers, barriers, boundaries between agencies, charities, workers and volunteers, to get them engaged in working alongside each other. We also want to break down the negative connotations of being an activist and protesting, Together we can achieve so much more. Social attitudes need to change, so please take the time today to network and speak to each other. So we will all be here for a different reason, even though we share a common purpose. We are just ordinary people from all backgrounds. We are here because we feel prepared to push for social change. Many of us here have been homeless and affected by homelessness or work in the homeless sector. I'm very proud to be here today, standing up with my rights. And the rights of others, I just pray that our children will grow up and still have the same rights for freedom of speech. Laws are passed every day that are diminishing our civil liberties. Common law states that we have a right to freedom of speech, the right to freedom of movement, the right to freedom from arbitrary arrest, freedom of assembly and religious rights. They are our rights and we should not let them be taken away. If we do not take a stand now and demand change, it may be too late. Make your voices heard. Use your right to debate about social injustice. Please take action. Organise events like this. Get together. Contact the government officials. Use social media. We need to apply as much pressure as possible with all of these to confront social injustice. Let's take action.